Hi, this is Presh Talwalker. In this video, I'm going to describe the stable marriage problem. Matching markets are extremely important in economic theory. They're an example of how you get two groups of people with different interests to match up together. For example, in the doctor residency match, you have residents who want to go to certain hospitals and hospitals that want certain residents, and you need to match those preferences up together. Another example is the kidney exchange, where you have donors and patients who may not be compatible as loved ones, but who can be paired up with another donor-patient pair in which they can be compatible. The Nobel Committee recognized work in matching markets and awarded the prize to Al Roth and Lloyd Shapley in 2012 for their work in matching markets. So how can matching markets be difficult? Well, here's an example. You can have what's known as an unstable matching. This happens when two people who are not matched together would prefer to be together over their current assignment, over their current match. So this would cause a problem because those two people would just break off from their current match and be together, and that could lead to all sorts of consequences. So we're going to illustrate this with some cards. Imagine we have the four kings, the king of heart, king of spades, king of diamonds, and king of clubs, and we have four queens, the hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. So how would you match up these pairs, the kings and the queens? Normally, when playing cards, we match them up by suit. Cards that are matched up by suits in poker and many games are usually stronger. So that's one natural mapping. But we can think about these cards representing interests of four men and four women. So imagine the king of hearts actually wants to be with the queen of diamonds, and the queen of diamonds actually wants to be with the king of hearts. These two, that would be an unstable match, and those two could break off and get together, and that would leave the queen of hearts to be unmatched. Now maybe the king of clubs says, oh, the queen of hearts is available, and she prefers to be in that rather than being alone. So those two get together, and that leaves the queen of clubs being unmatched. So you can see what the dynamics are in a matching market when you have an unstable match. It's not a good thing. You could even tapple to another thing where the king of spades and the queen of clubs are now matched. Just to end this, let's just say the king of diamonds and the queen of spades want to be together. This would be a match that would be stable. The Gale Shapley algorithm, developed in 1962, is a way that shows you can always find a stable matching. So let's return to the example of men and women in marriage, which was one of the examples given in the paper. How does the Gale Shapley algorithm work? The first step is that the men will prefer, will propose to their first choices. They think about all the women who are available and they each propose to their first choices. The women, if any of them receive multiple proposals, will then pick their favorite from those choices. The men who are rejected will then return to the drawing board and propose to their second choice. The women, again, if any of them have multiple proposals, will pick the favorite. And we'll keep repeating that, where the rejected men keep proposing to another choice, and the women keep picking their favorite, until each person is matched. And when each person is matched, this will always be a stable match. So let's do an example where the men propose. We'll return to the card example. We have the kings that we're going to match with the queens. And we're going to have to put preferences on what each of the kings and queens want. So imagine the king of hearts most prefers to be with the queen of clubs. Then the queen of diamonds. The third choice would be the queen of hearts and the least preferred option would be the Queen of Spades. 
we're going to put this type of ranked preference for each king over what each king wants. And we will similarly do the same thing over each queen and what each queen wants. So the queen of hearts most would want to be with the king of hearts, then diamonds, clubs, and spades. And we'll do the same thing for each individual. Now we can apply the Gale Shapley algorithm. So the men first propose to their most favored choice. The king of hearts would propose to the queen of clubs. The king of spades would propose as well to the queen of clubs. Then we go to the king of diamonds who proposes to the queen of spades. And finally, the king of clubs would propose to his most favorite choice, which is the queen of diamonds. In the second step of the algorithm, we look at the queens and see, do any of the queens have more than one proposal? Before we do that, we'll just put in some markers to remind ourselves of the preferences of the kings. This will come in handy for the following step after the queens look at the proposals. So here we have the queen of clubs who's received two proposals. So she says, all right, I prefer the king of spades over the king of hearts. So she rejects the king of hearts who returns back to the drawing board. So he's been rejected by the queen of clubs. So he now goes to a second choice, which is the queen of diamonds. This will mean the queen of diamonds now has two proposals. So she evaluates which one is her favorite. So the king of hearts is, is favored over the king of clubs. So she rejects the king of clubs. He goes back to the drawing board and we look at his preference choice. So now the king of clubs proposes to his second choice, which is the queen of hearts. And now each person is matched and the algorithm stops. So this by the Gale Shapley algorithm is a stable matching. We have the king of spades and the king of diamond end up with their most favorite choice. And the king of hearts and king of clubs end up with their second favorite choice. So that's what happens when the men propose, but let's see what happens when the women propose. We'll return the kings back to the, their preferences, and now we'll imagine the women are the ones who are doing the proposal. So we look at the queen of hearts, and she prefers the king of hearts. So she proposes to the king of hearts. The queen of spades proposes to the king of clubs. The queen of diamonds proposes to the king of hearts, and the queen of clubs proposes to the king of spades. Now it's the men's turn. We look at if any of the men have multiple proposals. And we'll just leave some cards to remember the preferences of the queens. So if we look at the kings, the king of hearts has multiple proposals. So now he evaluates which option he prefers. So he prefers the queen of diamonds over the queen of hearts. So the queen of hearts is rejected. And now we look at the queen of hearts preferences and see what her second choice is. So she goes to the king of diamonds. So now when the women propose, it's different. This is not the same matching we had before and all of the women get their first choice except one woman who gets her second choice. So the Gale Shapley algorithm will always result in a stable matching, but there can be more than one stable matching and it can depend on who is doing the proposal. And in general, you want to be the side that proposes because then your side will have more favored outcomes. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can get my books listed on my website. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker. And you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards.